guys, Christy here from Christy Velasquez Art. So tonight I'm going to be doing this 16 by 20. This is a level one um, gallery wrap canvas from, I got it from Michaels. So I'm working on a commission piece for a friend of mine. She wanted two 16 by 20s. She wanted the lower, um, what would you call it? She didn't want as thick as a canvas as some of the gallery three. So she really liked the look of the gallery one, which is um, not as thick along the edges. Um, but the but the canvas is definitely nicer than your kind of entry level, um, what I call like the, the practice type uh, level canvases. So she really likes the look um, that of the diagonal, color diagonally with you know, negative white space and then using a blow dryer to blow the colors around, which gives you a lot of lacing and cells and it's really pretty. So let me show you, this is what she gave me for inspiration. So this is the, um, the pillowcase for the bed in the bedroom where these paintings are going to be going. So it's got some kind of grayish kind of tints here. Like this is a gray, then it's got some kind of seafoam teal colors if you will a little bit of brown some white so um i've put together hopefully what colors <laughs> i think are, are going to go well together and will complement uh that that bedding so let me show you the colors that i'm using so i've got artist loft gray I've got some of this Arteza. This is the first time I'm using these Arteza paints, so I'll be excited to see how they work in my painting. But this is the Burnt Umber. That's from Arteza. Then I've got Artist Loft. This is the Metallic Cobalt Blue. I've got Artist Loft Old Gold, and I mixed that with a little bit of the Deco Arts Extreme Sheen in the, what is this, the 24 Karat Gold. And then lastly, I've got another Arteza paint, but this is from their Shimmer line. So they have uh, just plain acrylic paint colors that come in a pack, different packs. I have the 60 pack. And then they also have this, this is their metallic acrylic colors. And this is from the uh, metallic pack. And this is called Pearl Sea Green. And then I mix that with the Deco Arts Dazzling Metallics in Dark Pentina. So to kind of give a... Uh, color. So let me show you what that one looks like mixed together. So this is the Arteza green mixed with the Deco Arts. Shimmery, very pretty. And then for that burnt umber, I did add a little bit of the Artist Loft white just to tone it down a bit. It was kind of dark and then I wanted it to be a little lighter in that than that. So I've got that. Here's the gray mixed up. And my paints are thin. So when I do this blow dryer pour. I like for my paints to be really thin. So when I lift my my stick up, let the paint fall off, it goes, it forms a very tiny, tiny mound and goes right back into the paint. And then here's the mo uh, metallic cobalt blue. This is such a pretty color. And then this is kind of my gold mixture of the Artist Loft Old Gold and then the 24 Karat Gold. That's really pretty. All right, so let's get started here. Let me put my gloves on. So for a base on this canvas, I'm going to be using my house paint mixture. And what that is, is just, um, just flat house paint that I get from either Lowe's or Home Depot. And I mix that with Floetrol. And um, if you go back into my video list, you'll see I have a quick video showing you how I mix my house paint um, for when I do paintings like this where I use a base of white. Um, but that's what this is, and I keep it in here. So let me give it a quick shake to make sure it's nice and mixed up. And I'm just going to pour this on and cover this entire canvas. Okay. So make sure you're still on screen. Yep. Okay, now I'm just going to apply my paints uh, in little puddles at a diagonal here. And let's start with the metallic cobalt blue here. 
I'm just going to pour it in little puddles. Coming with the gray. Just a little bit of this white along the edges. Okay. Okay, now I'm gonna get my blow dryer and I'm gonna blow this out and we'll see what we get. So this is the blow dryer used. It is a, oh, I can't even see anymore, it's a Revlon. It does come with a, um, a little attachment here that kind of directs the air more, but I like to use it without that because uh, I really like how this air really intermixes the paint. So I like to use it without the attachment. So I blew the white kind of into the paint as you see so this is almost like a dutch pour where you pour your paints and then you push the white into it and then you push the paint back out this is sort of like a dutch pour um so that's what i did i pushed the white into the paint in the middle and now i'm going to push it out towards the edges and i've slowed the airflow a little bit just to so it's, the paint isn't going everywhere but that's actually not giving me enough air, so we're going to go high again. Let's look at what we've got here. Let's pop some bubbles. So I've got my torch here. Let's just start seeing what other things will come up. And I might add some additional paint here. All right. I don't hate it. Um, it's definitely got more white so I think I lost a lot of the um, this kind of seafoam color, so I might try to add some of that back in. But first, let me see if I can just blow a little bit here and maybe see what's underneath some of these colors. And of course, I got my hair in the paint here. You have to always make sure your hair is definitely pulled back.
Oh, just stuck my chest into the painting. How awesome is that? where I put my boob in it. And what I might do is maybe come along some of these edges here. and I'll take you down for a close-up. Okay, let's go in for a close-up. Um, so let me start with my favorite part. Look how beautiful this is with the browns, the golds, and that metallic cobalt blue. So this is the bottom kind of towards the middle. And I love this lacing and cells that I got here with that brown. And then over here is the lower... I guess that'd be my right hand corner. Um, and then kind of moving up along here, some beautiful lacing right there. And of course the top corner is white, kind of going across here to the top left hand corner. Got some gorgeous cells there with the gray and the gold together. Some more lacing there. These colors as they sit, they're actually kind of growing on me. Um, I think that they're really kind of blending together nicely. Um, and I think it does match uh, that pillow cover that I was going off of. And there's some more really cool cells with that gray. So overall, I think I'm happy with it. So I've got to do one more of these and try to get it as similar to this as possible. But uh, here we go. Thank you guys for joining me. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. See you on the next video. Thank you.